Community. 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 Hello, and welcome to At Home in Iowa City. I'm your host, Mayor Regina Bailey. On today's show, I'll be speaking to two of Iowa City's younger residents, Mari and Madison, about what they like to do in the summertime here in Iowa City. We'll be finding out what parks they enjoy, their favorite summer activities, and what sorts of activities they wish Iowa City had to offer but doesn't. Well, Mari and Maddie, thanks for being here today. It's getting to be summertime, and um, I, I just wanted to get a sense of what you like to do here in Iowa City in the summer. Well, um, some things I do are I take my dogs for a walk in Hickory Hill Park, and gardening is fun, um, and just hanging out at my house, reading, okay. listening to music. Do you have a garden at your house? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like planting pot flowers and... Flowers, not vegetables. No. <laughs> <laughs> no vegetables. <laughs> What's the point? How about you, Maddie? What do you like to do? Well, I do most of the stuff she said, except I do plant vegetables. Okay. <laughs> and um, well, I like to go to the library during the summer because it's always air conditioned and okay, nice and <laughs> and um, I like to go downtown because that's always fun. They have all these shops and little mini restaurants. Okay. You both talked about books and reading. Tell me some of your favorite things. I mean, do you have big plans, reading plans for the summer? Do you have a list? Or do you always read like the same book to start the summer? Or what, what are you reading right now? Any recommendations? Well, Eddie? right now I'm reading the Maximum Ride series. Okay. Um, I read the second one and I'm reading the first one. I read them out of order, but it doesn't really matter which order you read them in. Okay. And those are good. All right, how about you, Mari? What are you um, reading? I'm reading classic books right now because I have to do it for school. So I read Treasure Island and The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Okay. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is not a, now a classic? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay, you said Hickory Hill Park. Do you also go to Hickory Hill Park? I live right around there. So okay, yeah. okay. So Hickory Hill Park is one of my favorite places in Iowa City. What's your favorite place of, in the park? I mean, there are lots of different sections. Where do the dogs like to go? Well, what I do is just kind of wander through the park, try to find like the most obscure trails and kind of just wander around with my dogs. <laughs> okay, okay. How about you, Maddie? Well, I like, there's a, one section of it where there's two big hills and I like to basically just run down, run down them because there's a trail that leads through the woods back there and that's really neat. Yeah. I mean, I've discovered new trails in Hickory Hill Park. I always find that I think maybe somebody's making new trails or something because I think it's it's a good place for adventuring. Okay, so you mentioned restaurants, Maddie, mm -hmm. downtown. <laughs> I like restaurants downtown too. So some of your favorites? Um, let's see, there's Panchero's. It's Mexican Grill. Um, there's Whitey's. That's a nice cream shop. I'm not sure if that's local or... But anyway, and then... Um, the Hamburg Inn. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about you, Mari? Oh, downtown. my favorite restaurant's the Saloon downtown. Oh, okay. I really, really like yeah, that. Yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> okay. And at Hamburg Inn, Maddie, have you ever had a pie shake? No. <laughs> <laughs> They're on the menu. I've never had one, but I'm real curious. I'm... I was hoping that you could tell me all about it. <laughs> no. Okay. What other shops do you like to visit, Mari, downtown? Um, I like the soap opera. Okay. Um. Well, there's the Fire It Up, where you get to go and make your paint your own pottery. Have you done that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and there's Home Ec, which you can go and like make pillows, and there's a bunch of other different projects you can go, and they have fabrics and tools to make stuff. Uh -huh. Have you done the classes then at Home Ec Studio, both of you? Um, no. I Just did a birthday party there before. Oh, though. okay. Okay, right across from Hamburg Inn, right? Mm -hmm. That's nice and convenient. <laughs> Some of the other things that people have talked about to me in the summer is they spend some of the summer because there's not school volunteering. Do either one of you do activities like that? How about you, Maddie? Well, I did volunteer at the library, mm -hmm. but that was only for youth K through six, and so I had to stop. <laughs> oh, you got too old to volunteer. Yeah. Okay. That's one of the things I would do. Um, let's 
see. There's a volunteering at Mercy Hospital. Okay. That I would also do, but that's for 14 year olds. Oh. And can you think of any other ones? Not do you, really. Do you do, do you do volunteer? I did the library summer? too. Okay, but then it's now you're too old. I think there's um, for, it's for older people, but I couldn't go because I have other activities. Okay, in the summer. Um, All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so tell me what else. Okay, you're, you've been outside. You've been in the library. You've been to the restaurants. What else? Do you go to the downtown festivals and concerts much? Um, oh. well, I've been to the Jazz Fest. That mm -hmm. was really fun. I like all the little shops around there and all the art and definitely the music. <laughs> sure, sure. How about you? Um, the Arts Festival. Okay. I'd like that. Um, I think it's just kind of fun because there's a bunch of different stuff every year. What, what's your favorite part, the music or the arts? The music booths? and um, when I was volunteering with the library, I liked hanging out with the little kids and helping out with that. Oh, so you helped out with the booth that the yeah. library always does. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, and there's also the Shakespeare Festival. And do you, you go we to went, that? Um, yeah. It's, um, I like the part where you get to be outside and watch a play. It's my That's favorite fun. thing. <laughs> the moon is coming up and the play is on the stage. It's perfect. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. And it's just sort of different. So are you going this summer? Yeah, I think so. Probably. I think they're doing one of my favorite plays, which is Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh, yeah. Which is, yeah. It's really great. And it's perfect outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. If somebody just moved here, like if they moved here next week and they were going to spend the summer in Iowa City, what would you tell them that they absolutely had to do? They couldn't miss. Be, be our travel guides or our, our uh, tourist guides for Iowa City. What would be the one thing on, that they have to do first? Well, one thing in the summer is the Coralville Lake. Okay. Where you can go swimming. I think right. that's pretty fun because it's not like a normal swimming pool. Right. Um, if you have kids, there's the wildlife camps. Um, Where are those? Talk about those. I'm not um, familiar. Well, Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there's a bus that picks you up at a soccer park. It's the university soccer park. Yeah. Okay. And they take you out to these. Um, the the coral. Oh, I think it's the coral Yeah, okay. the reservoir. So it must be through the university. Yeah. It's the university. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That sounds really cool. So what do you do at these camps? Um, they take you <laughs> um, into the woods. Yeah, they yeah. take you hiking. Um, we went canoeing one year. Uh, they had some archery sometimes. Oh, we went swimming. <laughs> so all kinds of outdoor activities. Yeah. yeah. Oh, neat. And it's a day camp, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. You don't stay overnight. OK. So how long does it, did it last a week? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think you can take as many as you want to. OK. All right. So Madison, or Maddie, uh, when I first met you, I think I met you at Rummage in the Ramp. Are you helping out again with that this year? Is there a, another Rummage in the Ramp this year? Yes, there is. OK. And do you think that that's a good uh, approach to recycling? I think it's a great approach to recycling because you gain money for all the charities and all of the college kids and anybody else that goes there to buy things, they always gain the Things they buy. <laughs> right, right. Um, have you been to Rummage in the Ramp, or did oh, you help out? Haven't been. Okay. It's kind of it's it's pretty fun. It's like an outdoor flea market almost mm -hmm. for a couple of days in the in the ramp with the farmers market. Now, how about the farmers market? Is that something that you guys do during the summer? I know that you garden vegetables, so you wouldn't necessarily need to, and you garden flowers, which is one of the things I get at the market, so you wouldn't necessarily need to. But do you go down there on Saturdays or Wednesdays? We, I've, yeah, I've been down there. Um, I like all of their fruits and vegetables, and um, I like the baked goods, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> On Saturday mornings, they seem to have more baked goods. I think that that's really, that's really a fun part of it. Um, usually when I go to farmer's market, though, I ride my bike. Now, we haven't talked about bike riding very much. Do you guys ride bikes in the summer or use the trails or anything? I, I ride my bike during the summer, and... Um, there's a few trails I like to ride on. Which are your favorite ones? Probably the new one that starts at Creekside Park and ends at the um, Scott, Bo Scott Boulevard Dog Park. Okay. Do you ride the whole thing? or? Mm -hmm. Okay. How about you? Um, there's a trail that goes from the softball fields um, on the south side of town, I think, Okay. up to City Park. And we stop at a couple places along there, um, like Dairy Queen, um, <laughs> the art museum when I was